This is Spellman's ESL graphical user interface demo. We're going to cover the end user agreement, comms tab, main tab, high voltage power and systems voltage tab, the about tab, go back to the main tab again, and look at the user configuration tab. Click the ESL GUI icon. The license agreement will appear. Select I agree and click continue. Click no to the previous settings dialog box. The GUI comms tab will appear. Click connect. The green connected box will appear. Below the comms status is shown as connected and the mode is shown as remote. Let's click the main tab. Here KV and MA readbacks are displayed as well as KV and MA set points. To enter a KV set point, click the box and type in the desired number. Use Enter on your keyboard to complete the selection. The MA set point is done the same way. High voltage on and off are controlled by these two buttons. Click the red high voltage on button and high voltage will be enabled. The warning symbol lights up yellow when high voltage is enabled. The KV and MA readbacks are now displaying the actual KV and MA being generated. Voltage mode is indicated in the KV set point window. Press the green high voltage off button and the generation of high voltage will stop. The fault panel will display any faults generated during operation. To clear a fault, press the green high voltage off button. Let's click the high voltage power and systems tab. This box will display the output power in watts when high voltage is enabled. These other boxes display the internal housekeeping voltages of the power supply. Let's click the about tab. This shows the part number and revision of the DSP firmware and GUI. This information is helpful when reporting a problem. Let's go back to the main tab. The SL manual explains how to access the user configuration tab. Let's open this tab. Here you can set KV and MA slow start times. This box allows the AOL option to be enabled. Here you can set the number of arcs for the arc intervention circuitry. Click Save User Settings to save any changes made. This concludes the ESL GUI demo video.